Okay, this is probably really poor light because it is, oh, what is it, 1.48 in the morning and it is uh, January 29th now. I kind of want to elaborate a bit more on what I was talking about earlier today. And excuse the pausing and smoking because I I am really not with it and I've been really really depressed right now I'm feeling just numb all day at work today people asking me what's going on and I don't want to talk about it I only feel comfortable having my camera on my tripod right now and voicing what I need to say. Like last night, I went to spend time with Liz and I really feel like my emotions have been played on. I feel like I've been taken advantage that I tell her that I'll do anything for her and next thing I know she's asking me for beer money or money for cigarettes for her boyfriend and she's upset of, with me because of this because I roll my own cigarettes from pipe tobacco and that's another thing too is when I started up I was doing the roly rollies not the tubes and she thought it was marijuana but that's something in itself and I'm not even worried about that anymore I admit that there was a lot of bad time between us two and I don't even know what happened if she saw any of these videos maybe hopefully to see how I really feel and I am being honest about this all day today I, I couldn't focus I wasn't who I am I wasn't engaging in conversation with the customers or nothing and that's not who I am. Last night I, I went to go see her and I it, it's gotten to the point where she's calling stalking on me because what the fuck everyone I guess kind of in a way it could be. A few weeks back or whatever I asked her to come over and I, I never seem to get a definite answer and it, it bothers me. So I went to where she lives and I, um, she was going the other way when I said that way so I flipped to you and that whole situation turned sour real fast. I should have just went home. I drove recklessly and cut them off a couple times just to try to get them to stop. Just like, what the fuck is going on? Which was wrong for me to do. I, I, I needed to have just gone home. I could have put myself in jail that night if the cops were called. I had my scanner right there. And I was listening in and I, I was breaking the law. And odds are I'm going to get myself in trouble for even talking about this in front of camera and putting it online. I don't really think last night was much of a break in the law type thing because, well, I was upset. I did tell her, oh yeah, and I was going to give you like last $20 too. She wanted m money for 
her boyfriend to get smokes, which she's dating a 19 year old and she's 28 years old. And the dude completely resembles me at that age. And my personal feeling is it's definitely a rebound relationship because well, she's got stuff that she's probably working through within herself too. I just don't know. Another thing I was kind of wanting to talk about in front of camera and get this off me is dad's been living here at my house for almost a year now. March it'll be a year, the end of February, whatever. I don't remember the exact date. And what the fuck is that? It sound like water or something dripping. I don't know what the fuck that was. Maybe the cat has shits or something. Anyways, Dad's been living here for nearly a year. And in the process of that time, he's, uh, he successfully got a restraining order on my wife because uh, of uh, verbally abusive behavior, so to say, death threats or whatever, which we all seem to say stupid things. And what he's saying now is that he asked her to leave three times and she didn't um, comply or whatever. And that's why he doesn't want to drop the restraining order. And if he does drop the restraining order, what happens if he needs to get another one in the future and the judge is going to say no to him or blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm frustrated at dad right now, but basically I told him, and this is when things were, well, where I thought things were going good between me and Liz, that she was asking me, um, move your dad out and I'll come back home. and. Uh, Inside, I'm, I'm jumping for joy because I want my wife back. We're in the middle of a divorce process right now. Our kids were yanked from us. Third party, party custody with my sister-in-law. That's a story of itself. And I, I'm very frustrated with my sister-in-law too. For doing that shit, you know. So... Every single night, I lay in my bed and I cry. I want my wife back. And I say, God, just take me from this earth now. I don't want to be here. Which is bad for me to say. I'm a Christian and I believe in God and I'm suicidal. And I, I shouldn't be. I just, I just want my, get the fuck away from my tripod, you damn cat. I just want my wife back. And it, it just seems like there's a whole bunch of games that are going on right, on right now. And I guess odds are that the kids are coming back to me, is what I've heard. I don't know anything factual right now. I feel like I've flushed my entire life down the drain. I fucked everything up. And I don't know how to rebuild it. And all the attempts I've made, I fucked it up even more. I just don't know what to do. But the. Uh, the situation with dad is I, I told him if I can't have my wife here with me then I'm gonna find it somewhere else. Meaning I'm gonna find my own place to be with her. And he talked to, this is a family owned house. I need another cigarette. I don't think I'm gonna make this video more than 15 minutes. but. He came to the conclusion that uh, 
because before it was basically a free ride, just pay cable or whatever, is all we ever really had to do, and, um, which is not me being grown up at all, and that really bothers me too. I have, I have no education other than a GED. I dropped out of college because of the divorce. Or maybe I should say pending divorce. And that really depresses me too. I, I, I feel I flushed my life down the toilet. And I'm working a convenience job. Which isn't a, it's, I, I get along with my supervisors and I'm making money, but it's, it's not what I want to be doing when I'm at when I'm dad's age. So I've been studying the CompTIA A plus study book and even that there it's just been on Saturday and Sunday when I'm working drive up, drive through at work. Because I can sit down and read my book and just wait for the customers to come instead of working inside the store. Where I, where it's constant. So I'm not knowing what to do with myself right now. Dad said that he, he and Mom would write up a rental agreement between for me and Liz, and it would be seven fifty a month. All together, with everything paid would be about nine hundred dollars. That's cable or garbage or whatever else, which is cheaper than what we were doing when we were out on our own before. But now I don't even know where that stands with her. Because after last night, the the cops were called because of uh, me stalking her or sitting outside of her residence or whatever, which the cops were complete assholes to me and treated me like a criminal, which I am. I have an assault for on my record for throwing coffee on her. And I really want another cigarette. No got one. I just feel worthless right now. Don't get worried. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize my life. But in the same sense, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not that stupid. I just wish every day I'd get in a car accident or just pass away in my sleep. Because that's how much I hurt right now. And I don't even know if she's going to come back.